move on straight up move on forget them they are lying and they are untrustworthy so move on now sometimes this can be hard especially if they've somehow tied themselves into your life especially like for instance you get the kids involved in a divorce scenario you you can't move on but you have to mentally move on you have to emotionally detach from that human and that's hard to do because obviously they were someone that you trusted and the reason I know that you trusted them is because they got to a point where they were able to betray your trust and destroy you so they they it's hard but the fact that they trust that you trusted them the fact that you had that relationship that's even more reason to walk away it's even more reason to move on you got to see them for what they are and this is an important piece right here this is an important piece this is something I learned as a young lad out there in the world <laughs> that person yeah. is not who you thought they were right they are not who you thought they were the idea that this person was a trustworthy faithful companion is not true it is not true that person does not exist they didn't exist and they don't exist it was in your head it was in your head that this person was trustworthy and you the, they were everything you wanted them to be and they were a faithful commandant that is a lie they are not that person they have proved it they've proved it by their actions so move on and at the risk of sounding callous get over it get over it do not dwell do not dwell on do not dwell on on, on what it was <laughs> and don't dwell on what it could have been you, you hear when guys go through bad breakups you know it's I just I thought we were gonna it's like no don't dwell on that deal with what it is right now what that person is deal with reality accept reality and be be thankful for reality be thankful that you were able to learn before you invested more, more into this person be, be, be thankful that you found out when you did that this person was a liar that this person was unfaithful was untrustworthy be be thankful that you know it and you know it now instead of later and you know what else is gonna make it a lot easier to get over these situations is recognize that there's plenty of people out there in the world that are trustworthy and that are faithful good people there's they're out there go find one of them but don't think that that person that you had was the only one in the world they're not and you know what if that I've sometimes sometimes people have a hard time making that trust because they're so caught up and they, they, they don't want to meet someone else right away that's fine start with yourself right rely on yourself trust yourself because we when when someone breaks our trust we 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 question ourselves too yes like we think our my judgments bad I'm not a good judge of human character because I totally put my faith in this person and look what they did to me so now we don't trust her so you got to build that trust up you got to build that trust up back again with yourself how do you do that read write learn work out be alone it's okay to be alone some people get freaked out when they're alone it's okay to be alone it's okay it's okay to be alone there's no big deal enjoy it do something productive and build that trust up in yourself you know look back at the situation learn from it we do that it's an op post operational debrief oh you've put too much trust in somebody cool they broke your heart all right roger that let's see what were the steps what should I have recognized how many times did I say well you know they didn't call me but it's probably just because their phone was out of battery no <laughs> once your phone runs out of battery once okay you don't let it happen again right yeah. so you start seeing those red flags see the mistakes that you made mm -hmm. and then look for them next time around because you deal with people all the time that they they made mistakes the first run 
they go back and they make the same mistakes the second run they go back and make the same mistakes the third run that's when you got to start blaming yourself yeah on your situation that's why that's why I said you got to like build a relationship with yourself you got to learn yourself you got to trust you got to learn to trust yourself so spend some time doing that and then when you go back and you start dealing with people because that's what that's what you got to watch out for is that you become a hardened criminal and yes. you don't trust anybody yes. like you were talking about cops you know sometimes cops have a hard time because they're dealing with scumbags all day long right. and it builds up this this mistrust of other people mm -hmm. so you don't want to have that happen you want to be suspicious of people but you want to be able to build trust once they prove themselves so take those small steps and start to build up over time don't just jump in and give someone 100 percent trust out of the gate you don't know them. you don't know them. you know back in the day <laughs> back in the day when old hardcore bands used to have this t-shirt that just said trust no one it was like yeah that's legit right you don't don't go out of the gate with the big trust on somebody with important stuff. Yeah. Don't do it. But the good news is, like I said, there's plenty of people out there that are good people that you are give you that you can give all your trust to. Just take it slow, brother. Listen to me, man. You have a great life in front of you. But your great life is in front of you. It's not behind you. What you did back there ain't got nothing to do with what God got for you. What you did back there was learn the lessons to get you to where you are at this particular moment right here. But what God got for you, do you know, man, that you can actually mess your life completely up? You can jack it all the way up and you can turn around and get it right. Do you understand that? Do you understand that you could have had a baby out of wedlock and still be all right? Do you know that you can be divorced multiple times and still be okay? Do you understand that you cannot have a degree and still be just fine? You wanna know how I know? Cause I'm telling you what I know. I lost everything twice. I don't know if you've ever lost everything before, but I've been bottomed out twice. I done seen rock bottom two times. I've been through some walls up in here, man. I'm just trying to tell you, man, God is really with you. You ain't got to believe me. You ain't got to believe me. But keep doing it without God. Let me know how it worked for you. Matter of fact, write a book on how to make it without God. Because I want to I wanna read it. I want to read the first page. And then I want to read the last page. Because there ain't going to be but two. You can jack your life all the way up. God is in the forgiving business. You can make all the mistakes you want to make or think you shouldn't make. God is in the get it together business. If you got dreams and visions, I got news for you. God is in the make your dream come true business. He did it for me. How he won't do it for you. A lot of y'all better than me. I'm just going to flat out tell you. you ain't, most of y'all ain't done what I had to do to get to where I am today. You just ain't had to do this type of dirt. You ain't been homeless, so what, what you, you ain't, you ain't got to scrap like me. Most of y'all didn't come, you're not old as me. I've overcome it all because I have a relationship with him. And you can listen to me and tell that I'm not a perfect person. I am not a perfect Christian. I have my flaws. I am a flawed human being. But guess what? You are too. You ain't got it all together. I dare you to say you do. I make a lot of money, man. But guess what? I ain't got it all together. I'm hurting. I'm hurting, man. Everybody tripping through something. Everybody, I don't care who you are. You're going through something. But if you got God, you can make it. I'm just telling you this little piece of information. Look, I don't see most of y'all most of the time. So you're sitting here, you're kind of looking at me a little bit odd. Why Steve talking like this stuff? I'm just trying to put you, put you on game. Because let me tell you, all y'all want to be successful. And you want to be happy, but you got to get there. It's a shortcut to getting there. The shortcut to getting there is the relationship with God. If you try it without him, you're going to fail miserably. You're going to sink, man. It's going to be ugly for you. Now, this is what you got to do. Identify your gift and get busy with it. God gave all of you a gift. Identify your gift. It is the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your gift. Get busy at that. If it's drawing, if it's teaching, if it's sharing, if it's caregiving, he put that gift inside of you. 
He didn't hide it under a rock or put it under the mountain or put it on the mountain somewhere. He put the gift in you. And you look at me any kind of way you want to, what I'm just telling you is real. That's how you become successful. Identify your God-given gift, what he gave you at birth. If you do that, God will open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. I am telling you, that is a fact.